What's up, everybody? Want to give you an update on what's going on. We are back in purple, and you may love purple, like Purple Rain, or you may hate purple, like Barney, at least for me. Not a huge fan. Uh, but more than that, I think when we go and we have these changes and things are going on, right now as I'm talking to people, there's just a lot of emotions. It could be frustration, could be anger, could be sadness, could be anxiety, it could be about the government or people or pandemic or anything. There's a lot of things going on. And of course, as your pastor, I just wanna say, pray. God is working on you and on me on the inside. And even when we're like, all this stuff's going on and we can't control it all, we can still just say, God, center me on you. Give me inner peace, peace that goes beyond circumstances or things that change or all those emotions that we're feeling. So just that opening word, pray, be living into that. It's important. Uh, and then let's do our best in life. Let's do our best to be kind to each other. And then let's continue making meeting together a priority, whether that's online, whether that's uh, in, in person, we're gonna be doing outdoor services. Hebrews 10 says, let's not give up the habit of meeting together. And so again, whether that's online or outside, we're gonna be meeting rain or shine, no matter what that's gonna be happening. And that's kind of our new announcement, kind of at 9 a.m. Uh, we're going to be doing recording the service indoors, uh, but we will have people meeting outdoor, kind of watching that service, watch some leaders out there gathering together, rain or shine, we're going to be there. Uh, and then if you are a senior or a uh, handicapped special needs, you can go inside because we know that weather can be an issue uh, for people. So that's just for that. It's not for our young people. It's not for just, you know, people with kids, not just that. We are doing kids ministry, both services, nine and 11 for kids up through first grade. And then at the 11 o'clock service, I will be outside, the worship team will be outside, and we're gonna be doing that together again. Rain or shine, we have not missed a single week through this entire pandemic, and we're not planning to do it now. And I wanna encourage you, if you do online, if online's kind of your thing, every single week, fill out a Connect card, and every week actually write in a prayer request so that we can stay connected. If you haven't realized this by now, we're not made to be disconnected. And doing church online is okay, but any relationship that's online, it takes a little bit of extra work. So you can't just say, it's just me and God. God calls us into community. Jesus called his disciples to follow him together. And even if you're online, every single week, fill out that card and every single week, put a prayer request in there so we can stay connected because that's how God's made us as human beings. We're relational beings. And it's so important to do that, especially when there's changes going on, especially as we have all these feelings going on. So, uh, and then for the outdoor services, we're working on it kind of in a few weeks, hopefully, uh, we're gonna have some sort of shelter or an outdoor tent type of thing so that both services will be outside and all of us can be together. And so we're working on that. I'll give you more info on that as that comes up. But this week, uh, we have the nine and they have the 11 and kind of what I shared before. Thanksgiving Eve is next week. We are still doing our service and uh, we, I kind of announced last week in our worship service, we're not gonna do five and seven. We're gonna do one service at six o'clock outside, kids ministry up through first grade. We're gonna be out there. The weather looks like it's gonna be cold, a little bit brisk, but we will be here. It's gonna be dark, but we're gonna be under the parking lot lights. And we're just gonna spend this time being thankful to God and for each other. And again, if you're online, we're gonna be streaming that fill out another card for that one. And we just need a time, I really believe this. And this year, we really need a time where we can stop and we can just be thankful, where we can have a different perspective, where we can take even things that we've been frustrated about or anxious about, and instead of kind of using shame and anger, we can actually say, how am I thankful for this? How am I even thankful for this year? Ah, nah, that's a tough one. Especially when we're like, it seems like it's, we're going on forever. How can we actually say, God, this is what you've done in my life this year. This is why I'm thankful for these people. And it can change your perspective. And ultimately, how are we thankful for God, for the people of faith, for those support systems we have in our life? So six o'clock, November 25th, that's a Wednesday. It's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. That's why we call it Thanksgiving Eve. Bring your own chair. Oh, and I forgot to say for the other, for the services, bring your own chair for that as well. We have chairs we can bring from inside. But if you can bring your own chair, that'll help us out a lot. And you know, might even be more comfortable if you bring your cool, comfy chairs. Uh, and then I just wanna kind of wrap up this video by giving you a whole bunch of kind of good things going on, some inspiration, and then a really, really bad dad joke at the end. But 
I love them. So, okay, some updates. First, Building Hope. We've been getting good feedback from people. Uh, people have been praying. New people have been giving. I don't know if you know, in the last two months when we were outdoor meeting together, we had new people showing up. The last month we've been meeting indoor and outdoor, uh, and we've had a whole bunch of new people come. Last week alone, we had five visitors. It's been exciting. We're in the middle of our Watch Your Mouth sermon series. And this week we talked about swearing. Next week we're gonna talk about gossip. Uh, a lot of people have been posting that online. This has really been making me think about my mouth and words and what God's doing. I think that's really, really good, especially when we're frustrated or anxious or things going on. Are we using our words to build others up, including on social media? Or are we using our words to tear others down? So just kind of that wisdom there. Uh, we did Blessing You Stack a couple of weeks ago, uh, over 50 people. And one of the best things, just using our words to write notes uh, making sure we had at least two for every single person there. Just powerful. I love it. And of course, we had a bunch of goodies. And we're, it's not just you, Stack. We actually uh, have bought water bottles for Crossroads Elementary. And if there's a way we can be serving, if you have that need, you let me know. We've been helping people financially. We've been helping people with some pastoral care. We've been getting people in groups for that support. Uh, our life groups are wrapping up for this season, but we're encouraging you to get signed up for next season. Do not neglect that. It's a big deal. You can go on our website and actually go to the life groups page and just hit sign up for the next season. It's there. We want to make sure that that happens. Uh, we've talked about kids ministry already. Uh, we're hoping to actually add classes as it goes on so that we need those kids to have that time to learn about Jesus and to connect. It's so important. And then youth ministry, uh, I've been used to give you updates on that. It's been a little while. I'm still serving on Wednesday nights. I'm doing that. Uh, we have a great group of kids coming on Sunday mornings as well and watching online. Again, if you are in youth ministry, fill out your own card on Sunday morning. And our new youth pastor is coming in January. He'll be moving to Modesto in December and starting up in January. His name's Nick Tucker. We're very excited for him to be here. Uh, I've been talking to him about every other week, getting some updates. God's doing amazing things in his life. And we're really excited for him to be here. And uh, just incredible things going on. God is still working. John 5, 17, Jesus said, my, my father's still working to this day. And so we are still working. Your church is still working. Uh, all the different things we've been talking about. It's exciting, it's a hard time, it's an uphill. But what we believe is that through that uphill that God can do great things and change our perspective. And I just wanna encourage you and bless you. And of course, like I told you, I'm gonna end with a bad, bad joke. I just got attacked by six of the seven dwarves. Not happy. My friends, God bless you. I hope to see you soon or check in online. God bless you.